Okay, so for those of you guys that absolutely hate pre-built micros, uh, this frame is definitely one you're going to want to check out. This is uh, the CS3 from Tomoquads, and this is the newer version with the um, replaceable arms, as you can see here. The original CS3 uh, was cut from a single unibody, but this one here, if you break an arm, uh, you should be, you just buy an extra pair of arm here and replace it, either front or back, and you're good to go. So I'll put some uh, photos up here of, uh, of the frame by itself without any electronics in it, along with the weight. I posted all those up on my Instagram already. Anyway, overall, this is a pretty easy build. Um, the motors I'm using here, I think I, I stole from something else. It's an 1105 6000 kV motor. From, I think this is actually an SPC branded motor, but this is actually made by BBB or 3BR. Um, I wanted to this size motor for a 3 inch prop here. This is the HQ 3x2 prop. Highly recommend that prop. And I'm using the uh, Skystars uh, Talon 15 stack in here. And this is the same one that's in the Rex 80, also in the Scorpion 80. It's in a lot of models. This is a nice 15 amp 4 in 1 ESC stack and F4 flight controller and power switch roll video transmitter. Half style board on it. All this is a 20x20 20 20 stack, by the way. But in terms of the build, it's uh, pretty simple. Basically, I soldered all the motors to the 4-in-1 AC, and I just built up the stack. Uh, basically, I plugged in the 4-in-1 uh, AC to the flight controller through the wiring harness, and then I soldered up my video transmitter, my camera, and my receiver, and then I just shoved everything inside the frame that was already built. Um, the camera I'm using here is a Cadex uh, EOS one, I believe, yes, yeah, the EOS one, um, which happened to have the screw holes, and the receiver I'm using is a full-speed um, nano receiver, the FreeSky version. It's a D8 receiver. Um, yeah, and I just used uh, a little zip tie here to hold on the VTX antenna. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward building. I'm using a uh, strap here for the bottom. You can um, use some included 3D parts here if you want to use a 2S battery here. Uh, you have these uh, three parts for like a battery holder you can use on this frame if you want. You could also use this little 3D printer part here for a battery holder as well. And the other thing that this frame offers is that the default configuration is not this pod here. This is actually an optional print that you can you can request this um, STL file from Tomo if uh, you buy this and he'll, he'll send this to you. you can, you'll have to print this yourself. This is not actually included. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's going to sell this or not in terms of the pod and as, uh, as, a, as an accessory. comes with the top plate as the standard config. So you have two standoffs here in the front, two, I'm sorry, two standoffs in the back, two in the front, and then the camera is going to stick on these little TPU mounts here in the front here and that's um, that's the default config um, yeah, I'll just put some pictures up here what that looks like uh, in terms of the frame without any electronics in it and then a few um, I guess if you want a little bit less jello I would probably go with the standard config with the top plate I think that's probably going to provide a little bit less gel than then this is a tiny bit of shaking vibration on this pod um, this is kind of typical for TPU pods here that they have a little bit of flux in them. This is not super thick; it's pretty lightweight, so you can see that it will, you know, move around a little bit here. Uh, even though it is secured down, um, the motor vibrations do cause a little bit of jello in the video if you happen to use the pod configuration. So keep that in mind. Okay, so here's the weight without. Uh, lipo, it's coming at 68 grams, a little over 68 grams. And the battery I used for the flights are uh, 520 3SGNV high volt, and that's why I went with the 6000 kV motor. This I think is a pretty good combination if you want to do your build, uh, lots of power and flight time. So altogether, it's coming at just about a little under 110 grams. For those of you guys that actually prefer building, this is definitely the frame I would check out for a three inch like ultra micro build. And with this battery, I'll put links to all these parts down in the description if you guys want to replicate this build. I think it flies really good. 
Obviously there's a lot of the sort of pre-built 3 inch ultra micros that are going to be coming out but I thought I'd at least do one or a couple, uh, might do one or two builds here of uh, some different configurations to give you a little bit of comparison of what, uh, what you can buy out there in terms of stuff that's pre-built versus something that I would build in terms of uh, up, like you know power setup and everything so I think this is a pretty good power setup 1105 6000 kV motors on this 3 inch valve. Some people might go a little bit lower motor like a smaller motor like 1104 I wouldn't go with 1103 on this this is just me I think it's a little bit too heavy for an 1103 on a 3 inch prop um, and I think going too big like an 1106 um, you could do that for sure but it's going to be heavier and I don't think there's too much more benefit of going to 1106 you get a shorter flight time, more amp draw and it's not that much faster versus an 11 to 5. That's just my opinion. You guys check out the flight footage and let me know what you guys think of this. Um, overall, I like this build a lot. It's nice looking, flies great, got great parts in it, and it's not too hard to build either. So, anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Here's the flight footage, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.